hold on a second. And we can talk about that. Stretching <laughs> is very important when you're doing any kind of physical activity. There's something you have to do though before you stretch. So it can help improve your performance. It can stop you from getting hurt. Dr. John Dean from Oakland Lifestyle Medicine. Chiropractor is here to show us some techniques when it comes to protecting our muscles. And we're gonna make this soccer theme just because we're excited about World Cup, that's Women's right. World Cup action. Yep. Uh, and also because soccer, I mean, that's gotta be one of the sports that creates a lot of injuries when yep. we talk about uh, tears and that sort of thing, A lot of right? lower body injuries, yep. yeah. So one of the things that I tell you know all my athletes and my patients to do is make sure that you actually get blood flowing to those muscles before you stretch them. A lot of people make the mistake of stretching cold muscles and that can actually lead to injuries once you're playing the sport. So the first thing you want to do is warm up. Like uh, one of the things that I like to tell my patients to do is high knees, right? You can do okay. these with me if you want, <laughs> but we're basically getting these knees moving here. We're so trying to build some strength there. When you, when you picture your muscles that you're trying to, when you're stretching muscles, Yep. Are you literally stretching them or what are you doing? So we're getting blood flow. Yep. And then explain what stretching does to our muscles. So what stretching does is it's going to warm that muscle up before activity. Think of your muscles like a rubber band. Okay. If you have a rubber band that hasn't moved, it's been sitting in that drawer for a month, and you start flexing on it, it's going to break or it's going to tear. Okay. But if we slowly and gently keep that rubber band warmed up, small stretches first and then longer stretches after that, it's more flexible. More flexible means less likely to tear. Okay, so the first thing you're doing is getting blood flow. So how yep. long are we doing high knees or jumping jacks? I typically like at least a 15 to 30 minute warm up for those 15 muscles. 15 to 30 first. minutes? Yeah, and these high level athletes, they're probably warming up for an hour before what they're doing this stuff. What about high level athletes? What about regular people? At least 10 minutes of some physical activity. Jogging, jumping jacks, anything to get blood flow to the area. You wanna right. kinda get that little sheen or that little sweat going first. All right. Then we're gonna stretch. He's saying it, I mean, 10 <laughs> minutes of jumping jacks. Okay, yeah. then what? So then we're gonna stretch the muscles, right? Right? And if we're talking about soccer, we're mostly talking about lower leg stretches. That's the bulk of the injuries that we're going to see. So first thing that I like to tell them to do is a quad stretch. Uh, we're going to be balancing on one leg. We're going to be pulling that heel up to our butt. You can do it either straight behind or we can cross if you want to get a different part of that quad there. Oh. This is not only working on stretching that quad, very important muscle in soccer for kicking, yeah. uh, but we're also getting good balance through our ankle, building up some strength and some proprioception with that. All right. The other things that we want to do is the hamstrings, really common injuries in soccer, hamstring injuries. Uh, and one of the things that I see a lot of people doing is sitting on the ground and bending over to try to touch their toes. Yes, you're stretching the hamstring, but that is not great for your spine. It's seated flexion, not good for the discs. So I actually prefer a downward dog, which is a very common yoga move. So if you want to do downward that with dog. me. So watch the downward dog because this is something that's good for many parts of your body. Yeah, this is good for core strength. It's good for stretching your hamstrings and your calves, which is another big muscle group uh, that oftentimes is going to get injured in, in soccer. All right, show us do how it's me? done. I'll try. Okay, I'm, let's not, do it. I'm not great at this downward dog. <laughs> Ryan was doing it with me. You can do he it. Was? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, tell him to get out here. All right. So basically, you want to try to push your heels towards the ground That's when you're doing where I this. That's struggle. Okay. Yep. So it means you need to do it, Dina. So Is we're going to be pushing. The head supposed to be down. Yep. Heads down with in that. Between your elbows. Yep. Exactly. Our All arms right. are straight. Our butts in the air. Our legs are straight. We're trying to get those heels down to the ground as much as we can. Is this a flattering angle on TV? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's pretty good. Yeah. Now. Now, what we can do from that as well is we can shift from that downward dog to yeah. a crowbar if you want. So we're going to go forward like this. Oh, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, and we're going up with the head and the neck. This is great for low back mobility, day. neck mobility. And you kind of go back and forth with this. This is a great move to warm up for any sport, uh, but certainly soccer. Now, I feel like the downward dog is good to get the blood flowing, no? Well, it's it's more of a stretch. You really want to get your heart pumping in order to get the blood flowing, so that's going to be more right. cardiovascular activity. All right, is that our workout for today? I think so, I'm We're sweating. Done? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, where do people find you if they want more advice? Uh, on... You can go to oaklandlifemed.com. We're at uh, 16 in Woodward. All right, very good. Uh, stay safe out there, especially you weekend work. You know, you work all week and then you go out, you're gonna go golfing, you're gonna play pickleball, you're gonna do tennis, whatever you're doing. Uh, get the warm up going. Yeah. Get the blood flowing. And go USA. Yeah, USA. <laughs> we'll be right back.